It's your human right to take this Friday off, but where's the fun in that? This is the week that was. I'm Simon Brown. My co-host is Julia Titilevi. And joining us for our weekly winch is Vestax Brad Kamala, while David Shapiro snoozes in New York. Before we get into the guts of the week, it's been one hell of a time in central bank land. Japan raising rates to zero. Switzerland stunning the market. Turkey going all in. And the US and BOE doing nothing at all. But there's good news in that. Well, we've had good news. Inflation has come down. Uh, it's come down as we expected. But we have still got some way to go, particularly with what I call the more persistent bits of inflation. Uh, you know, that's particularly the services element. It's about half the total basket of prices. That's still at 6%. Now, we don't need to see it come all the way down to a sort of sustainable level, consistent with the target, but we do need to see further progress. But I do want to give this message very strongly. We've had very encouraging and good news. So I think, you know, we can say we're on the way. Game on. It's game on, but I got to say, right, and, and listening to Jerome Powell as well, suddenly they seem to like not care about the target. And Powell's like, yeah, that whole data dependent, yeah. I mean, and, 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 and he was like, yeah, we'll give you cuts. And, uh, and you can see that gold was like, yeah, <laughs> yokes are playing with fire. Do you guys remember Rowan Atkins' <coughs> uh, Mr. Bean? Yeah, and yeah. There's a very popular episode where, you know, he's writing an exam, but <laughs> he's, he's totally out of his depth. He doesn't know what's going on. So he keeps looking at what his neighbor's doing. It's exactly what they feel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> he said nothing new in that. I mean, it sounds exactly what Jerome Powell has been saying the whole time. But he's copying the wrong kid. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> I don't know. So, uh, so but it's quite inter interesti um, interesting to see a bit of divergence taking place. So you've got, and the market now interprets uh, the Bank of England and the US Fed are, are going to cut rates in the US Fed three rate cuts yeah. this year. This seems to be the expectation. Then you have Japan moving out of negative interest rates. In other words, they're raising interest rates. Switzerland. Switzerland. Raised interest rates. Remember, Switzerland is, is, was the first to get out of negative interest rates and now they're, ri they're raising interest rates. I don't know. So Japan seems to be following more of what Switzerland is doing. So there's a strange divergence, <laughs> um, but generally the markets were quite perky this week. Yeah, look, markets were in the green, so uh, I'll, I'll take that, um, you know, but if you look at individual companies, I'm sure we're going to speak about that. Mm. There was massive, massive uh, divergence there too. Like The likes of Lululemon and Nike tanked massively yesterday, notwithstanding that Nike had, you know, a good set of numbers, but I guess it's on the outlook. And following, you know, two weeks or a week ago, Adidas numbers, which were shocking, you know, so it's been hard, I guess, for at leisure, but um, I I'm sure we'll probably get to and that surely speaks to, to Consumer. consumers because at leisure is something you don't need to buy. Remember, at leisure is mostly driven by retail sales. It's sort of also weird because looking at the most recent, call it, you know, Jan and Feb set of uh, retail sales, those were good. Uh, and then if we're talking about consumer stocks, uh, Gucci owner Caring had a horrible day. I'm when I'm was it? Wednesday? Mm. Um, Correct. Uh, and then the FT, you've got, you know, the Lex column says... It presages the end of the, the boom era, era uh, for luxury goods. Whereas on Wednesday nights when David was awake in New York, we were mm -hmm. talking about whether or not this was actually just a, a company-specific issue. That it's, it has been a company-specific issue for a while. Um, and well, since the departure of the creative director, they seem, you know, they haven't stabilized sales. Um, in uh, well, at caring, um, especially since you know Gucci is more over fifty percent of, you know, the whole business in terms of profitability. So, uh, yeah, I mean, look at all the other high-end luxury companies. You know, when I think of Gucci in my head, sorry for those who wear Gucci, I see it as you know a competitor to Coach, a competitor to Michael Kors. Not yeah. a competitor to Hermes, not a competitor to Louis Vuitton. It's a mid-range. It's so, yeah, some of the brands there, like Alexander McQueen and something else, yeah, you could say they're a bit niche. Uh, it's a little bit different uh, when you look at that portfolio mix, but Gucci, I'm sorry. Mm. <laughs> not, uh, doesn't, uh, doesn't have a coach price tag. But just, <laughs> and one last comment on the local market. It seemed that there were huge divergences this week, big swings in share prices. I don't know if that's because of futures closeout that had anything to do with anything. That was last week, so I'm surprised it's only uh, playing no, out this week. this week. It was this week. Oh, sorry, was it this week? It was Wednesday. Oh, yeah, so maybe that's the reason. 
Yeah, it was also results were, were I and mean, we'll touch on some of the details. I mean, they were divergently mixed in terms of, of numbers coming through as well. And some, Remgo, who are talking <laughs> it, uh, a horror. Pete mm. Flynn's got those numbers. Mm. We're well, also making news this week. Beloved Mr. Putin really digs this democracy stuff as he scoops 88% of the vote. Trump doesn't have the half billion dollars he needs to get out of the hole and no one will lend it to him either. Water crisis? What water? What crisis? What? It's special leave for the dishonorable speaker to enjoy mm. her last few bags of cash, but unfortunately mine this a special wig. Telcom sells its towers business, Remgro takes a hiding, and recessions are good for you, or at least your longevity. But first, it seems inevitable that the man at the centre of South Africa's biggest ever fraud, who professed ignorance to the legion of accounting irregularities under his control, would choose to hen end his own life rather than have his day of reckoning for it. That was the... Very thin Major skin. story of uh, thin of skin. of the week. Yeah, very thin skin. That's all I have to say. But you know, uh, as I was saying on Twitter, some are saying, uh, "Is he gone or is he gone like Carlos gone?" <laughs> but oh. either, uh, th there is. I mean, apparently they're witnesses, and I, I got something. I got two thoughts on it. The one is. I wanted to stay in court. I mean, I want, I, I, this is not the ending that I think anyone wanted. Um, and importantly, and I think we as media need to, you know, self-harm is never a good idea. And if you're considering it, seek help because you're important. Yes. But this is not, we wanted, I mean, apparently the hawks were coming. We, we wanted the court case. Yeah, I've, apparently they were so close. You know, you could hear the, you know, the knock on the door. Well, uh, seven years, eh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, there's been some really interesting <coughs> reporting. Alec Hogg, Rob Rose. Uh, he, the was due fine. To, he was due to the, the fine, fi 475 million rand mm -hmm. from the FSCA, which must be the biggest fine ever levied in South way. African history. Well, where are they going to get that? Because it's a state won acquire, well, it's not worth much. And yeah. everything is in companies. And it's going to be very hard to pierce a corporate veil of, you know, businesses that have their own institution with, you know, directors and, 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 and their own policies and stuff. So it's going to, I don't know. I mean, the other thing is, is, I mean, you talk about wanting accountability. You wanted a few answers. You wanted even a why. Why mm. did you do this? Um, and you'll never have that. And, and I, think, um, I, I think it maybe was Jan Crenier in News24 uh, today writing about how Marcus Euster maintained this international air of mystery. You know, he never said anything. He never made any comments. The, o the only time he actually said anything about the behavior was in the 2018 hearings yeah. in Parliament. And those were very unsatisfactory. Um, and I guess uh, it's... I, I, I one know feels robbed of of I, yeah. of, of, of the, the closure. The, the closure. Justice. That's, that's justice. What, justice. Yeah, I think that's what <coughs> every investor who invested and got duped into you know the whole style of saga wanted some closure. They wanted some justice, but sometimes the story doesn't go the way you think. All the way that you want. Agree with that. Yeah. Well, accountability by Steinhoff may, be, may forever be wanting. We're hopeful that one of South Africa's public sector leeches may finally swap overblown attire for a humble orange suit. Although obviously not without a fight or at least protestations of immense victimhood. These we would like to mention include the aggravation of having had her wig taken by the investigating directorate in this week's raid on the Speaker of Parliament's house. All the better to bow her head in shame, we say. Uh, it, part of me is like, finally, someone's being arrested. The flip side is, it's been a long time and it's one person. Uh, we're talking about no severe amount of Yes. Yeah. Right? I, I'm, not, I'm not seeing that arrest happen. I mean, she's, isn't she being taken to some place she's offshore on some conference? No, she's, ha she's apparently handing, handing herself in today. Today. Well, okay, maybe that's progress. Until I see someone in, in orange overalls, I, I well, the orange overalls are still a, wi a while away. Hey? I mean, oh. there's a court case, <laughs> there's a process, Decades there's away. an appeal. Has anyone here in the table actually been part of that whole process? You know, the court process in South Africa. You know, your brother. Well, uh, do you mean personally? No, no, just like you know, of, <laughs> uh, your brother dies today, okay, and his killer is only going to be persecuted four years from now. So yeah. South Africa is the worst when it comes to that yeah. stuff. So it's don't get too excited. Yeah, and we've seen it with Zuma and the Stalingrad tactics, which have largely been it. There, there's some suggestion that uh, she's a sort of convenient yeah. um, sacrificial lamb, uh, you know, to those who are beseeching Cyril Ramaphosa for some sort of um, accountability. We'll take the sacrificial lamb and maybe that's the domino, you know, that 
trips over all the rest. Well, I it's, it's I'm very optimistic. I, I take your point. Even when it comes to this stuff, and, and, and I'm not supposed to be. Like and also, two months ahead of an election, what, ten, eight weeks out from the election. But I take your point. It is something. It, it's the ID investigative directorate saying, you know what, actually, we did know how to do our job, which truthfully, we weren't sure they were. Or mm. well, maybe our hands were tied. Mm. Well, that too. And how typical for Fork Tang Cyril to congratulate Vladimir Putin on his stonking electoral victory or to state that load shedding was permanent under apartheid. If you can't account for any success, cozy up to the strong man and blame an ancient enemy. Um, Putin uh, <laughs> making a mockery of democratic elections with this week's uh, winnings, although I suppose... Um, 88 percent. Who running as an independent. Who was the 12 percent who yes. had the balls to vote against him? Uh, Probably I mean his friends also. You know, <laughs> you know how these things oh, work. You mean they get to vote three times, twice for him, once for... There you go. And then you know um, how these things work. But I, I find that, you know, <coughs> Cyril Ramaphosa and South Africa's stance when it comes to Russia is like, you know, you know that meme where there's two bulldogs fighting and then there's a chihuahua trying to bark. <laughs> Just stop being that ch ch chihuahua. It doesn't make any sense. And he did it on... I mean, he did it... He sent the congratulations yesterday, Human Rights Day. I mean, talk about... Humans. Right, yeah. 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 Talk about a bad choice of... Um, of Distasteful uh, is the word we look for. Distasteful. Yeah. And before the break, how is Donald Trump going to find the $454 million he owes the New York legal system for financial fraud? He's been turned down by 30 entities, including Berkshire Hathaway. And as the FT writes, even if Trump had the collateral they needed, the bond companies do not want the reputational risk. I can imagine that conversation with Berkshire Hathaway was what? Six seconds long? <laughs> Trump. Uh, Donald Trump. Uh, no. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, it, it shows you that um, reputation goes a long way, right? I mean, even if you're Donald Trump and you do have you know, the collateral, well, supposedly. 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 <laughs> yeah, you have it. No one wants to do business with you. If they know, you know, you're that type of person. Uh, we all know what type of person he is. I don't have to use but yeah. It is fascinating time. that there are billionaires, legions of them, who would be Republican donors who will throw their hat in the ring to support Donald Trump. Yeah, but in, they don't want to be seen. Also, they don't want to risk their reputation. You know, political donations in the U.S., a strategic play. It's one thing. But if you give that man your money directly from your own pocket into his bank account, that's a different signal. You don't become billionaires by giving away half a billion because you ain't getting that money back. Mm. Mm. Yes. He doesn't have friends. Or money. <laughs> <laughs> and yet he may be the president of America. After the break, IPO sales results and long life.